Welcome. Today we'll be making grilled lemon brine chicken thighs with a charred Indian style street corn and mint chutney. I'm Chef Emily and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School Online. So we're going to start off by making our brine. We have four cups of water, which we're going to add to this pot. And a brine is essentially a liquid that you take a food item or a protein and you soak it for a short or long period of time in a salt or sugar solution. And what this does is it actually tenderizes the meat and also makes it more flavorful. So we're adding in salt, sugar, and a bay leaf. We have ginger, which has been sliced. You can see the whole ginger here. You do not need to peel this ginger. It's not gonna make a difference with the skin on or off. Two lemons sliced, and you can leave all of the seeds intact. And then a serrano. A serrano is a little bit spicier than a jalapeno, usually double the heat of a jalapeno. So we're gonna bring this up to a boil and let that dissolve. And for about five minutes, you'll see a low simmer. And after that, we'll cool it down in some ice. All right, so it looks like we came to a full boil, five minutes. Our sugar and salt has dissolved and all of our aromatics have infused the water with a lot of flavor. You can really smell that ginger and the lemon. So we're gonna add this into two pounds of ice. So we wanna cool down the brine. That way we are not cooking the protein item, it's just flavoring the protein item. Place the lid on top and you can let this sit for four hours or overnight. All right, it's time to make our chutney. So today we're gonna to be making a creamy herby chutney. And by definition, a chutney means a relish. And typically it's made with fruit, spices, in this case, yogurts and herbs. Um, we're gonna start off with a full fat Greek yogurt, a nice healthy plop or two. We're gonna add our liquids first. So that way this purees a little bit easier. I have ginger paste, very convenient product, ready to go. And we're gonna add lime juice, buttermilk, which is also very acidic, sour. We have spices such as serrano, green onions, citrusy bright cilantro, and picked off of the stem mint leaves. Last but not least, a pinch of sugar or so, just to kind of help with the bitterness and the sour of the lemon juice and the buttermilk. A healthy grind of salt. And we can puree this. It looks like it's combined really well. We're gonna pour this into a bowl and get this refrigerated. It smells amazing. We're gonna go ahead and place this into the fridge. All right, the chicken is brined for four hours and I dried it with paper towels because we wanna make sure the oil adheres to the chicken before we start to grill it. So just a light drizzle of oil. We're gonna flip these over. And the brine has had time to add so much flavor, so we do not need to add any additional salt or pepper. We're going to enjoy this just the way it is with the serrano, lemon, and ginger flavor. We also have our corn. We're gonna oil this as well. We have removed the husk and the silk. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take the corn off the grill. It is ready to go. And it looks fantastic. 
We need to start getting our chicken cooked. Um, our thighs are gonna take about eight to 10 minutes um, and we wanna make sure we don't overcrowd the pan. All right, so we have a lot of sound change going on here and you can see that half of the chicken has been cooked and a lot of moisture is coming out. So we're gonna check and see if we have a good grill mark on the other side. You can definitely smell it. It looks great. We're gonna flip these over and let them cook on the other side. And while those are going, we're gonna go ahead and take the corn off the cob. Using a knife, you're just gonna follow the natural contour line of the corn, in circular motion, just going around, creating a flat side first, keeping your fingers out of the way, and just go all the way around. All right. Pick our corn up. We're going to put this into a bowl. All right, our chicken is done. I'm gonna allow this to rest on the cutting board and I'm gonna go grab the rest of the ingredients for the street corn. So in this bowl, we're gonna to toss together our fresh herbs, cheese, and butter that has hot sauce and some curry powder. The red curry powder actually hails from Thailand originally. We're using this to spice up our delicious Indian street corn. So we're gonna add in their butter, green onions, our soft farmer's cheese, cilantro. Mix this together. All right, that looks good. We're gonna cut up our chicken next. Got fantastic grill marks. I'm gonna go grab a few more plates. All right, it's time to plate up our chicken. So we're gonna start off by putting our corn down. It looks amazing. Can't wait to try it. Okay. And also our chicken that we worked so hard on. Look how beautiful that looks. I'm gonna put a few slices down on the plate. It's our chutney. We're gonna drizzle this on top. It looks great. Beautiful color. Leave this on the side so you can add more later. All right. We're gonna garnish this with some lime. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna give this a taste. Wow, that is fantastic. I absolutely love the bright, citrusy, creamy chutney sauce that we made. I also think the char on the corn is perfectly paired with that. And the brine on the chicken is fabulous. There's so much flavor. Click the link below for this full recipe, subscribe to the Publix YouTube channel, and check out the Aprons Cooking School online playlist for more from our chefs. Thank you.